Oh, hello. And welcome. Now today is decay. We're celebrating births and beginnings. Everything important since it's not a time. I have a cameraman here today with me. Hello, Luca. Are you going to be translating into Catal Jordan Catalano? Sí, yo sé todo lo que hablo hoy. Nice, nice. Uh, celebrating births and beginnings of everything important since the dawn of time here in beautiful, sunny Barcelona. No joke. What a nice time. So, what happened throughout space and time? It's a good thing. Life's a beach, and so is Coney Island today. Sea Lion Park, 1895, first opened its doors to the public, which was the first ever modern day amusement park based in Coney Island. Um, I think it's where eventually Luna Park, the historic Luna Park, not the current Luna Park, was, as run by Captain Paul Boyton, who was like a daredevil adventurer of his own who built this like rubber buccaneer suit to like be a flotation device to like go out into the ocean by himself in the late 1800s. And everybody said, don't do this, you're mad, you're gonna die. And so instead he created this amusement park. I mean, he did actually do the rubber buccaneer thing and almost did die. Uh, and then created this amusement park where there was like, um, what is it called? The Flip Flip Flap Railway, I think. 1895, you've got an actual roller coaster that like goes upside down. So people are wearing like bustles and three-piece suits and like, you know, Victorian era clothing, but going upside down on roller coasters. Apparently the G-force was strong enough at the time that people would black out from the experience. There was like barely any photos of this stuff, but it exists, it's true, Sea Lion Park, check it out. Uh, 1910 today, Gloria Stewart was born, one of uh, the first Scream Queen uh, actresses, because she was not just a pre-code uh, horror actress in the early 30s, but also somebody who regularly went back to doing horror movies. So she was in Invisible Man with Claude Rains, directed by James Whale, also directed by James Whale, she was in The Old Dark House. Uh, a couple others, uh, she did, did, this was her thing, clearly. And many, many, many years later, she wound up being the little old lady in Titanic. Like, <laughs> w w whatever the, the math that is, a very long time later. She survived, right? I'm sorry, was that She Catalano? survived, no, no, she survived in the, the Titanic, I mean. Not the actual Titanic, the movie Titanic. The movie, the yeah, she, she survived the movie Titanic. <laughs> 1976, today, the Clash played their first show ever at the Black Swan in Sheffield, opening for the Sex Pistols. Um, yeah, apparently it was a heat wave. But wait, there's more. In 1981, today, the Marquee, uh, the Meteors were playing a live show. And um, uh, this was where they got the live recording of... Um, the In Heaven intro that became like the In Heaven, like the, the Nigel and the, and the audience like singing a uh, call and response of In Heaven, everything is fine from the Razorhead uh, that then made it onto the intro to the In Heaven record. So if you ever wondered, July 4th, these are all important things. Something about American independence, but that's not really anywhere near as important as the meteors in heaven, especially not with these <laughs> current, current events, right? What do you think? The Clash. The Clash. And in heaven. Okay, good. I appreciate the recap. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's it. Till tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. El averso en catalán. Yo no, en catalán no, en castellano no me recuerdo de nada. The Clash, 1986, los primeros shows. Eh, Meteors, no, Meteors 86, eh, Clash 76, 89. That's it. Yeah, till tomorrow. Goodbye.